Hello again. Uh, here we are to continue our discussion of Xcode and uh, view controllers, and we're going we're working our way to the page view controller. And right now, I've got my storyboard set up, and I have a bunch of uh, of views here, right? Each view controller with a picture in it, right? And uh, why don't we get one of these views to display on top of the main view, which is empty? Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to add a child view controller. Okay, and so the first step here is to go to viewcontroller.swift, which is the, the view controller class that runs our first view controller. And we can double check that by going to the identity inspector, and you'll see under class name here, you'll see it says view controller, right? And that's the, that's the file here. And if you click on the little arrow here, it'll take you to that file. Okay, or you can just click on it here too. Okay. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to look inside this method here called view did load, okay? And this is where we do stuff after the view loads, okay? So after our view loads, what I want to do is I want to grab one of those views from storyboard and display it as a child view to this view controller. I mean, this view controller is empty anyway. There's nothing in it. It's just going to be a container for another view, okay? or any other view, like we could swap the views too, right? But just to get started, we'll, we'll look at how you display a single view, okay? Um, so there's two steps. Uh, essentially, you have to make an instance of the view controller from storyboard first, and then you have to add, add it as a child and add its view as a sub-view, okay? Uh, so we'll do it this way. So the first thing I'm going to do here is actually I'll start with let. I'm going to say let you know, view controller equal um, storyboard dot instantiate view controller with identifier. Okay, so we want this one here. And this, you can see, it returns a, a UI view controller. And the identifier is a string, right? So, uh, so there we go. So I've got instantiate uh, view controller with identifier. And then the identifier string for me is going to be page one view controller okay now um, there's a couple things here right let me go back to that information there and if we look carefully you can see um, this returns a UI view controller if you have a a custom view controller of some kind right like you have a custom view controller then you might need to cast this as that type so for us, my view controllers don't have a class file associated with them, so they're all just generic view controllers. But if I created a, a, a custom block of code to run inside one of those view controllers or to manage that view controller, then that, that's going to be its own class, and I would use that name here. Okay. So anyway, there's our, there's our view controller there. right? And after we've um, instantiated the view controller with the identifier, here's a note too. This, this identifier name here is exactly or must be exactly the name that you assigned to the view in the Identity Inspector. So this first view here, you can see the storyboard ID is page one view controller, right? So this is the name that we're using over here. Okay, like that's the name that I got right here. You know, they should be spelled exactly the same, right? Okay, so once we got that worked out, like this is how we're going to go into storyboard, f tell storyboard to, you know, instantiate a view controller, right? This is the name of the view controller. And then now that we've got the view controller, we'll add it as a child's view and then add its, its view as a sub view. So what we'll do is we'll say self.add child view controller. And then you can see that child view controller is a view controller, which you know, VC is also, right? So we'll type VC here. VC is short for the view controller, right? So we'll put that there. And then the next thing we'll do is we'll say um, self.add, or no, wait, self.view.add subview. So every view controller has a view, and that's the visual visual part of the view controller. And, you know, this new view controller we added has that also, and if we want to see the view of this view controller, we have to add it as a subview to the current view controller, right? So we'll say um, add subview, and this will be view controller dot view, right? 
Um, now I'm getting a, an error here, and it's going to say, um, "Hey, you know, do you want to insert the exclamation point, right? Because instantiate um, view controller with identifier." I, th I think since a uh, storyboard is an optional value, like it may or may not exist, then this is becomes an optional value, right? Um, so when I, you know, when I click on VC here, you can see it says view controller question mark. Like maybe you're going to get a view controller. You might get nil in this case, right? So what we'll do is we'll. I like to do it this way. I'm going to say if let. And then on the end here, I'll type the curly bracket to turn the whole thing into an if statement, right? And and the idea here is we're going to say, we're going to move this code inside the if statement also. But essentially what we're saying is we're saying like, hey, you know, if uh, this stuff right here is successful and doesn't return nil, then, you know, go on and do these other two lines of code inside the if statement, okay? So anyway, so there we go. Let's uh, let's give it a test, right? So I'll, I'll click the, the Run button. Oh, and there we go. There's our view, right? Um, so that was pretty simple. Um, just realize that the view controller is is the code that runs you know, runs the view, but part of the view controller is the view, and the view is actually what you see on the screen. And you can have the view controller in the background and not see the view, right? Um, so in this case, in order to see the view, we add this view controller as a child view controller, right, of the current view. And then that's VC here, page one view controller, really, right? We're adding this as a child of view controller right because that's self and then in order to see the view of page one we need to add its view as a sub view of the current view right okay so anyway so i hope that's helpful and then we'll continue with this and we'd like to you know make, work this into a, a page view controller right at some point so uh you know where, we'll, where we can swipe through all the pages okay but anyway this is the basic concept that's going to get the whole thing started okay so thanks for watching